Creating lids manually in an assembly is very similar to how you do it in a part file. The only difference is you have to incorporate some basic top-down design technique to add the lids as their own part files. To add lids to this assembly, I'll go to Insert Component and select New Part. I'll rename the part in the feature tree and call it Assembly Lid 1. Now I'll edit the part. From here, I can just use the same process for manually creating lids in a part. I'll start a new sketch on the face I need the lid on. Use Convert Entities to convert the inner edge to Sketch Entities. And finally, use a mid-plane extrusion to create the lid. Easy enough, right? One thing to keep in mind is I recommend creating individual lid parts for each opening you're trying to cover. That way, you can apply different materials to each of the lids if you need to, which can be useful. Especially if your analysis involves heat transfer and the lids serve as insulators of different materials, for example.